Hello children, welcome to my class, Human Eye and Colorful World. In our earlier class, we studied the structure of the eye. In this class, we are going to discuss the defects in vision and how they are corrected. We will discuss all these things with the neat animated videos. So in the case of a healthy person, a healthy person can see the distance objects clearly and nearby objects clearly. Observe this one. In the case of the healthy person, the distance object, when he is viewing the distance object, the image is formed exactly on the retina. On the retina. So, when we are seeing the distance object, the ciliary muscles are in relaxed position. In relaxed position and the eye lens is thinner, the eye lens is thinner. So, its focal length is a maximum. The image of the distance object is exactly formed on the retina in the case of the healthy person. Okay, when a person is viewing the distance object, the ciliary muscles are in relaxed state and the eye, see this one, and the eye lens refract the incident rays exactly on the retina and the image is formed on the retina are you clear about that one the image is final image is formed exactly on the retina now observe this one when we are observing the nearby objects see this one in the case of a normal person in the case of a normal person the image is formed exactly on the retina actually the rays that are coming from the nearby objects are diverged rays, diverged rays. To make the final image on the retina, the eye lens has to be adjusted itself. This is known as autofocus ability of the eye lens. This autofocus ability of the eye lens is known as what we call it accommodation of the eye lens. So, the eye lens adjusts its focal length with the help of the ciliary muscles. At this position, the eye lens is thicker. Okay, the eye lens is bulged. Are you clear about that one? So, the final image is formed exactly on the retina with the help of ciliary muscles. A person with normal vision can see the nearby objects as well as far objects. In the case of nearby objects, flexible eye lens bulges under its own elasticity and the eye lens becomes thicker. Are you clear about that one? So, the near point for a normal person is, for a healthy person is, what is that? 25 centimeters. Now, the autofocus ability of the eye lens to change its focal length to form the image on the retina for near and far objects is called, what we call it? Power of accommodation. So, our eye has that power of accommodation to adjust its focal length for distance and nearby objects to find the final image exactly on the retina. This autofocus ability of the eye lens to change its focal length to form the image on the retina for near and far objects is called power of accommodation. Now, just now we discussed in the case of a healthy person, he can see the nearby objects and far objects clearly. If he is not able to see the nearby objects or the far objects, then we say that the person has a defect in vision. The commonly known eye defects are myopia, this is also known as short sightedness. The second one is the hypermetrophia or long sightedness the third one is pressed biophia what is that pressed biophia the fourth one is cataract these are the commonly known eye defects okay for a person with normal vision normal vision okay he can see the far object that is the object which is at infinity it changes from person to person far object and nearby object that is near point for a healthy person is 25 centimeters. If it is not possible to see either the distance or the near objects clearly, then we say that he has defect in vision. There are four types of 
eye defects are there. One is the myopia, the second one is the hypermetrophia, the third one is the presbyopia, the fourth one is the cataract. Let us discuss one by one in detail. Children, observe this animation clearly. Let us assume a far object. As I discussed earlier, the rays that are coming from far object are parallel to each other. Okay, the final image has to be formed on the retina. But in the case of a person suffering with myopia, the image is formed before the retina, in front of the retina. So, the defect in vision in which close objects appear clearly but far objects appears blurred or do not appear clearly is known as myopia or short sightedness okay he can see the nearer objects clearly but cannot see the distance objects for example in the case of the students the students can read the textbook he can see the letters in the textbook clearly but he feel that the letters on the blackboard appears blurred why what might be the reason for the myopia the main reason is high converging power of the eye lens okay high converging power of the eye lens the second one is elongated eyeball when the eyeball is elongated large then also this defects occurs the image is formed final image is formed in front of the retina instead of on the retina how it is to be corrected observe this one observe this animation already i told you high converging power so what we have to do we have to use diverging lens that is what is diverging lens double concave lens is to be used to correct this defect after this one this is the far point okay this is the far point the light rays that are coming from the object at far point let us assume infinity okay are parallel are parallel they fall on the double concave lens which is known as diverging lens okay they are diverged they are diverged and after diverging they fall on the eye lens and the final image is formed exactly on the retina after this final image okay if you extend these refracted rays in the backward direction they meet at this point they meet at this point so for a person suffering with myopia the far point the far point is less than much more less than infinity actually this is the object but this image serves as the object to the eye lens are you clear about that one so the image see this one this is the image this image is formed due to the double concave lens which we used as the correction to correct the defect in the vision so the eye lens feels that this is the object so the far point is much more less than what is that infinity okay this is the far point this is the far point for a myopic eye okay next correction the concave lens of suitable focal length is used to correct this defect double concave lens diverges the refracted rays to meet on the retina are you clear about that one so already i told you what is the reason high converging power of eye lens the second reason is enlarged eyeball children observe this animation clearly see let us assume a nearby object a nearby object now see this the final image is formed behind the retina the final image is formed behind the retina so this defect in vision in which a person can see the far object that is distance object but cannot see the nearby objects nearby objects is known as what we call it hypermetrophia the defect in vision in which far objects clearly but near objects blurred or do not appear clearly are you clear about that one? he can see the far objects but cannot see the nearer objects why because the object the image of the object is formed behind the retina are you clear about that one so how can we correct it the double convex lens of suitable focal length is used to correct this defect double convex lens converges the refracted rays to meet on the retina are you clear 
see this one this is the double convex lens which we are using to correct this defect okay so observe this one when this double convex lens is placed in between the eye lens and the object eye lens and the object see this one see when you extend these refractor rays in the backward direction in the backward direction they meet at this point they meet at this point here the image is formed this is nothing but the near point this is the near point okay so this near point is attained by using this double convex lens to correct the hypermetrophia so the final image is formed exactly on the retina are you clear about that one so actually this defect is caused due to low converging power of the eye lens low converging power of the eye lens so what we have to do we have to converge these light rays these refracted rays that's why we are using double convex lens as the correction of hypermetrophia so reasons low converging power of eye lens and second reason is shorter eyeball when the eyeball is shorter when the eyeball is shorter the image also formed behind the retina are you clear let us discuss the third eye defect that is presbyopia this is also known as old age hypermetrophia what is that old age hypermetrophia this old age hypermetrophia or presbyopia is caused due to the gradual loss of accommodation of the eye lens okay already we discussed the autofocus ability of the eye lens to adjust its focal length according to the distance and near objects is known as accommodation power of the eye lens so when the ciliary muscles becomes weak so they lose the accommodation power they lose the accommodation power so because of this weakening of ciliary muscles this presbyopia is caused okay so weakening of ciliary muscles to focus on nearby objects and far objects is the main cause for presbyopia so how can we correct it okay correction can be corrected by using bifocal lenses that is sometimes we can use concave or convex or both the lenses are you clear about that one okay observe this one these are the ciliary muscles okay see this one these are the ciliary muscles in the case of a normal person the ciliary muscles are very strong very strong and they can adjust the thickness of the eye lens according to the position of the object that is far point and near point are you clear about that one so they can change the thickness once the thickness is changed means what happens the focal length of the eye lens also automatically changes okay once the ciliary muscles loses their ability their ability to change the thickness of the eye lens this presbyopia is caused this is also known as old age hypermetrophia are you clear about that one so how it is corrected it is corrected by using the bifocal lenses okay bifocal lenses nowadays we are using progressive lenses okay progressive lenses are you clear now let us discuss the last eye defect that is known as cataract okay cataract see as the person grows old what happens a cloud a layer is formed on the eye lens a layer is formed on the eye lens so the eye lens becomes cloudy eye lens becomes cloudy are you clear about that one so at the same time instead of this transparent the eye lens it becomes opaque it becomes eye lens becomes opaque are you clear about that one so how this defect can be corrected it can be corrected a simple surgery with a simple surgery in the eye okay in the eye okay eye lens the natural eye lens is replaced with the artificial lens that is iol we call it as the iol with a laser surgery so it is a simple surgery okay to correct the cataract are you clear about that one these are the four eye defects and their corrections children i hope i made the concept crystal clear to you okay do watch my lessons on youtube if you have any doubt related to these lessons please post your doubts in the comment box 
do share my videos and do subscribe and share among your friends don't forget to watch my further videos thank you children for watching my video thank you once again